Have you ever looked at a piece of code and felt completely lost? If you're scratching your head over the complexity of the HashMap resize implementation, you're not alone. Today, we're diving into this intricate topic to help you understand it better. I totally get it. Reading through the source code can be overwhelming, especially when you encounter sections that seem unnecessarily complicated. You're not the only one who feels this way. Many developers have faced similar confusion. Let's take a closer look at the specific question at hand. One user asked, why is the HashMap resize implementation so complex, especially the part where multiple nodes are involved? They pointed out that it seems like a simpler solution could work just as well. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So why is this complexity necessary? The HashMap's resize method is designed to maintain order and efficiency when handling collisions. This is crucial for performance, especially when the number of entries grows. Let's break down the code to see how it works. And stick around. By the end of this video, you'll have a clearer understanding of why this implementation is structured the way it is. And I promise you'll feel more confident tackling similar code in the future. To understand why the HashMap resize implementation is complex, let's first look at the purpose of the resizing process. The user needs to know that resizing is crucial for maintaining performance as the number of entries increases. Next, the user should consider the scenario where multiple nodes exist in the same bin. This is where the complexity arises. The implementation needs to preserve the order of elements while distributing them into new bins. In the provided code, the user can see that two separate lists are created one for low hash values and another for high hash values. This separation is essential for maintaining the correct distribution of nodes. The user might wonder why the code doesn't simply place nodes directly into the new table. The reason is that this approach ensures that nodes are correctly linked and ordered, which is vital for performance and retrieval. Finally, the user should note that the complexity in the resize method ultimately leads to a more efficient hash map. By carefully managing how nodes are distributed, the implementation minimizes collisions and optimizes access times. Fun fact, did you know that the concept of a hash map dates back to the 1950s? It's amazing how far we've come in programming, yet some challenges remain timeless. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that during a resize, each bin in the hash map is split into two separate bins. If a bin contains multiple linked items, it's important to check the hash of each item to determine whether it goes into the low or high bin. This is done by examining the new significant bit in the hash. They note that while this process was simpler in Java 7, it was less reliable because it could change the order of items, which is not acceptable in the current implementation. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. This user points out that the complexity in the HashMap resize implementation is due to the need to manage the transition between plane and tree modes as the table size increases. They mention that the threshold for converting a bin to a tree changes with the size of the table, which adds to the complexity. Here's a takeaway. Understanding the underlying mechanics of data structures like HashMap can significantly improve your coding skills. Don't shy away from complexity, embrace it. And there you have it. The complexity of the HashMap resize implementation is there for a reason. By understanding it, you're one step closer to mastering data structures. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insights and tips.